There are good days in China, but look at one of the many bad ones. The air turns a toxic grey. The smog choking the streets contains the, gases um, and particles linked to asthma and heart trouble. The pollution, according to one study, may even be taking five years off the average lifespan here. So, to venture outside in the Chinese winter, these twin girls don't just need coats. Their mother, Jia Yi, wants them to wear face masks as well. About two minutes to the break, BBC America, two minutes. Like many, she's scared of the air they have to breathe. There are so many people and cars here, she says, affecting her children's health. It's so bad, she's even thinking of moving away. You can't actually see some of the most damaging pollution. It's called PM 2.5 and involves particles that are microscopically small. So let's use virtual reality to visualize them. They're less than 2.5 microns across, which means you could fit 400 in a single millimeter. By comparison, a grain of sand is 20 times larger. Now, this matters because the particles are small enough not just to get into the lungs, but also into the bloodstream. Now, this kind of pollution is measured by the cubic meter of air. So let's visualize that right here. The World Health Organization sets a maximum limit of 25 of these particles in this space. He says we shouldn't breathe more of them over a 24-hour period. But a level of 200 is routinely reached in many Chinese cities. And it once peaked at 800, a seriously hazardous level. Until recently, some key facts about air quality were kept secret. Now, readings from monitoring sites like this are released. Public concern has forced the authorities to be more open. This is the centre where the measurements are analysed. Officials make sure their own air is kept clean. A purifier stands in the corner. The pollution over Beijing often gets trapped by these mountains. These are hot spots, including for that PM 2.5 pollution, recorded at a dozen sites here on a Sunday. The WHO recommended maximum would run right along here showing you the severity of the problem. So what are the authorities doing? Well, first, they're closing down any power stations within the city that burn coal. That's the biggest source of pollution. Next, they're trying to limit road traffic. Greener cars will get priority. And officials say they're confident they can clean up. Many cities in the world had huge air problems in the past. London was nicknamed Smog City, but their air is much better now, and we have already moved fast to cope with this problem. But some organizations are taking matters into their own hands. The International School of Beijing has sealed off part of its playground. Inside this vast inflatable dome, the children are breathing filtered air. It wasn't cheap, but it's very reassuring for the parents. It's a key selling point. Uh, it's one of the first questions that, that prospective families will ask during our admissions process and, and uh, a tour of our, of our facility is, you know, what is the air quality inside? How do you... People actually ask, oh, do they? Yes. The very worst smog forces entire cities to take the drastic step of closing down. Rapid growth has an ugly downside. The Chinese government is banking on green technology for the future. But pollution will be a reality here for years to come. David Chukman, BBC News in Beijing.